hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we're going to be stocking up for the month of march so this is how i prepare myself whenever i'm going to the market i use one old bag where i put my my debit card where necessary cash and then i fold my knives appropriately into um i have different knives so i have to sharpen anyone that is blunt by month and i also pack my baco sacks so I, I get ready for the market so guys i'll be seeing you when we are back from the market cut on i need them give me i'll be i'll just keep it inside madam you are cutting cruise i only be right here so I'm going to be starting from this part. I got this wood because I, I currently have just one dongari and I prefer to use wooden spoons for my cooking. Um, that's why I have them. Um, that's why I have my... I got this for 300 naira. Uh, okay. I want to make a confession, but before then, let me remove this first. So I have my cucumber three of them for 500 and all these peppers for i think 2000 naira or so i got these tomatoes because i wanted um something hard because i didn't get tomatoes tatashi okay i got small tatashi for reasons i'll explain later um yeah i didn't buy the normal way i buy because i still have a lot in my freezer from what i did from last month of february so I just got this because I just wanted to free something that I can put in my fridge for making ex um um just maybe noodles or just emergency just needs to add some tomatoes to your salad or something like that. Yeah, that's why I got an unripe one and I had it in mind like to be really strong. Mm. It's not that hard, but we'll manage it. Um okay, I got this this one. You see this purple? Very it's still very hard to touch. Uh, I mean, hard to the touch and it's very strong and I think it's a very good breed. I got it for 1,200 naira. It's very expensive. And I feel like I was cheated or I have been cheated. Um, but I want to console myself because it's a good breed and I'm going to replant it. Yes, that's the confession I had to make. And I'll be explaining the reasons why later. I later got this for 600 naira. Obviously, this and this is not the same when it comes to freshness. Um, and this, yeah, this is more ripe than this. And this is fresh, not as fresh as this. But this is 600 naira. So, I didn't mean to buy two. But when I saw this for 600 naira, even if I didn't need it because I already have one, I felt like, man, I, if I don't buy this, I'll be feeling guilty that I wasted money buying this. Because really, seeds are expensive by the way guys i bought some seed and i'll be sharing all that in another video apart from the live seeds that i have here but the dry seeds i'll be showing in another video please subscribe if you've not subscribed by the way my name is Oge, and i'm reaching from abuja nigeria i make videos on healthy living budgeting and uh uh, great recipes budgeting when i mean budget i mean how to manage your home on a budget regardless of what you earn or how things are in the economy so yes uh seeds are very expensive i tried to buy some seeds they'll say for one thousand naira for some small stuff that we used to buy 200 naira, 100 naira then now the least you can get is 500 naira except you're buying maybe green you know ah uh, so the reason i'm even buying this because if i was to buy purple seeds i may get like 500 so i might just well buy as well buy add extra 500 and buy you know good one and this is that strong one that can be like carrot purple if you know what i mean so i got this for 500 each and then this purple this carrot for 500 for all of it yes i buy and this uh, coconut for 100 500 naira uh, this is what it looks like okay um if you want to get good deals buy if you're in the market just go to this uh women that buy or bring from their farms directly they will give you good deals okay um that's it for there i'll come back to these vegetables because i'm having space issues here and then i have my um this is my green bee green bees and this is 500 there. Okay, I have my mangoes. Mangoes is in season, but it's really expensive. Each four of these goes for 500 naira. This Cameroon pepper, 500 naira. I still have some from last month, but I just decided to buy because I think this is really a good deal. I also got 
from Ojebu. I've been hearing a lot about it. I don't know what it um I think it's I heard it is nice, so I just decided to try it. I got three for four hundred naira. And then this is turmeric. I got hundred naira turmeric. I got um ginger five hundred, garlic five hundred. This is my other ginger. They're supposed to be together. Um lemons for three hundred. And this fish, I don't know who, if you know this fish, this is tilapia fish. It used to be 100 naira last year. But now it's 200 naira per one. And apples, I got this for two, 500 naira. And this one for three, 1,000 naira. Okay, here is where my secret starts. I got these strawberries for 500 naira. And the idea, really, is because I want to thief the seeds. Yes, I want to thief the seed. You see what the economy is saying, ba? Hmm. Man, if you don't want to turn your backyard to farm this year, I don't know what you are thinking. No. Me, oh, I want to do my... You see, I have made some videos in the past about how to, you know, grow your food in a bucket or something like that. But um, I somewhere along the line, I didn't share. Maybe I'll share in the future. Let me know, guys, if you think I should. I bought some ogiri, just 100 naira on what? No big. Okay, so all these peppers. I have pepper in my freezer. I have that in my freezer. I have yellow pepper in my freezer, but I just got this. Um, I will have um shombo, yes, chili. They are all in my freezer, but because I want to plant them, I don't want to hear stories. I don't want to take the risk of trying to plant them and then the seed do not germinate because one thing, one thing has happened to it inside the freezer. So, guys, that's why I decided to buy fresh one new. That is alive and well. So <laughs> eventually I'll still use it to cook, but I may just use one or two, get the seeds from them, and then um plant. Yeah, so I made videos in the past and I may be linking it to this video in case you're interested to see how to grow your seeds from um plant from seeds and all of that. So here I have my this is parsley and this is mint leaf and this is lettuce. I have her celery here and scent leaf i have scent leaf here i have enough scent leaf here and the reason i got them is because i want to blend them and make a juice which i'm gonna freeze and use at my own disposal yeah i also got spinach which i'll also be using because i don't know any other way to use spinach apart from blending it or maybe in soup i'm in nigeria so i don't really know maybe as an alternative to watermelon and uh, to water leaf but i don't know yet for now i'll just blend and I also got um, this um, uh, got the egg leaf, which I don't know um, if to blend it also, but I'm going to be, see all this leaf, but I'm going to be regrowing them. Yes, that's the secret. Including lettuce. So I also have here, um, what's that leaf? But that one, I don't know how to regrow it. Do you know you can regrow this cabbage head? If you can see very well, you see that um, the... You see new growth sometimes even if you put your cabbage in the fridge after some time you see that there's new leaves sprouting yes that's to show you that you can actually dip that root into the ground and it will germinate and become a new plant i also got ugu i wanted to buy okra but i forgot i was tired man stressful so i'm going to have to leave that for another day as you can see i didn't buy um tomatoes and all that i also did not buy a lot of soup ingredients because i already have them in my freezer from last batch cooking and <clears throat> yeah um we made a lot of soups i'm not sure i did a video on that maybe in my subsequent videos i'll be carrying you guys along it's always stressful to make videos but because of you and because of the love i have for you i'll start making videos on them so guys so this is where um okay i have this um uh, plantain for uh four thousand naira for one bunch i also have um i've noticed one thing about these people but they'll tell you one basket but they are they usually arrange these things that basket step by step layer by layer such that it is never full they are, it's not like they they put everything in the basket they just arrange it and it looks full from the outside but by the time they turn it into nine it's empty anyway i got that for one five and i also got these onions 
I have some leftover onions from last month. I bought two baskets last month because I wanted to do my stew base, but I still have a lot left. This is like half basket. I bought another basket. I bought this basket surprisingly at 2.5. Man, what a great deal. I was thinking that they would say it's 3.5 because everything is expensive now. But luckily for me, I got it for 2.5. I also got this one again for planting. I can regrow this and it turn to spring onions and eventually turn to new onions growth and that will be it <laughs> and then my onion and uh, oranges for uh oranges i got for 800 naira for one basket then this yams i got two sets um one set one two three four five for seven thousand and one two three four five for um three thousand because I wanted my budget was ten thousand. I knew that this seven thousand naira worth will not be enough for us for one month. Because all these are things I were gonna be using for the month of March, guys. This is March grocery. Yeah, this is March uh, grocery shopping. If I have not stated that, this is things we're going to use for March. Of course, we know that some things will run out, especially the fruits and vegetables. So we're going to restock on that. But all these other ones, like the yam. And onions will be one month. Potatoes might run out fast too, as well as plantain. We don't expect that plantain to be enough for one whole month, right, guys? So let's jump to the other um, item. So uh, I'm going to start with this part. Here I have. Um, let me start by. Okay, as you guys know, Indomie now is rich man food. There's no more emergency food. So I got me half carton. That's not because of the price though. Before now, I used to buy half carton and that's because I want to discipline myself as well as my children not to eat too much of it. Yeah, because we want to eat other things. As you guys may already know, I preach healthy living and I try to do uh, preservatives the least I can. I cannot avoid it, yes, because we're in a modern world, but I try as much as possible to to reduce it or limit it or prevent it if possible. But usually I used to buy super pack, half carton super pack, but I got Indomie tables, onion flavors, half pack. So, because I think I have like six or five pieces from last month. Even, it doesn't matter whether we had or not, half pack is what I used to do monthly. And then I have my cheese balls, the pack for 2003. This I think I got for 5,005 or thereabouts. This is two, three bread for one, two. Um, Hollandia yogurt for the children for bribery and corruption. Since uh, two, five. Um, I have my Ribena, two, five also. Then I have my sugar, half mudu, one, five. Can you guys imagine? Everything is now so expensive, man. I have my gelatin. My daughter put, said I should buy. She wants to make some crafts. Hopefully, I'll carry you guys along. This is 700 naira. Uh, and this baking powder is um, 300. Yes. Um, we have a Milo, one big one for the month of March. Yes. Yeah, Milo, one big one for the month of March. We don't do a lot of beverages like that. Yeah. And then this is pig milk, two packs for the month, hopefully. Yes, and I still have my um, Dano Slim from last month because I've I've not even opened it. I've had to, I've not had any reason to use milk other than drinking my turmeric, uh, garlic, and ginger tea, which I used. Uh, in fact, I was not even, I didn't even use up to one. I didn't even use up to half teaspoon for each of them. I just decided to use from the one the children had. Yeah. So I have my Fanta. This is just Fanta I got. And then this half packet of malt, which is for the month. Again, we don't entertain a lot of visitors and we don't drink a lot of fizzy drinks. So that's a way to discipline ourselves so that we don't get to eat. Uh, you eat what you see, right? So this knee beat, I got one packet and it's 3,500 Naira for one packet. Each roll is six rolls and each roll is um, 12. Three, five. So for six rolls by 12, I think that's a really good deal. And then this um, yogurt I got for, I think, three, five thousand. Yes, five thousand naira for the pack of 12. 
I have spaghetti, four pieces for the month. I have macaroni, four pieces for the month. I have two couscous left from previous months, but I don't know how to cook couscous. I'm gonna try it one day. I have mayonnaise. I have sweets that I've already transferred. They have started to color B from the sweets uh, for the kids. Uh, sweets or candy. And then I have my fried granite. I just packed it inside rubber because I cannot shout. I don't have strength to peel anything. And then I have me some thyme because I have curry. Two of them. I got this thing 2,000 naira for two of them. One 1,000. It's this one which buy 300 naira back in the days. Oh my god anyway this soap i got four of them this family soap family care soap and it's very strong i like it and it's durable i'm going to be sharing another video guys how to save money on soap <laughs> you see ordinary soap bar hmm. okay let's leave that one so <laughs> um soap i mean soap detergents washing soap liquid detergent all these things that's why my channel is here to help you guys save okay so i also got this um, half carton of half carton of the um, clean protect another one i like is viva because it smells so good but they didn't have it even last month um they didn't have it so that's where i buy from i bought um, this liquid soap money fresh of memory space and um, my other phone so but i have my floor for 1500 naira i got to mudu's i have my jebu gary very crunchy jebu gary and that is um 1000 naira per mudu yes and you see this oloni beans honey beans eh? hmm. when i before i before now i used to buy the bigger ones um because i thought they were bigger you know but and i realized that these smaller ones are dry, they are very dry, so it means that it's going to give you higher volume when you're done cooking, especially when you let it rise very well before you start cooking. Remember guys, I shared a video on how to make your beans. I can share another one guys if you're interested and I'll let you know how it goes. I, um, I'll be glad to share how to make your beans and if your children are having a hard time loving beans, my dear, you may be doing it wrong. You want to subscribe now so that I can update you so I can know how to go about these things. And very affordable. You know, um, I buy in bulk because I am opportune to. I know some of us may not be able to do that. But regardless of what your budget is, I can always help you manage your finances. That's why I'm here for you guys. Because I have also been in situations where I didn't have the opportunity to get all of this. But one thing I know is that buying in bulk pays, especially when you know how to store them well and utilize them well. Because some people, because they see it, they will consume it. But <laughs> there are other ways to go about it. So I have this 5 liters King's Oil. And really, the idea is not to finish it before the end of the month. Too. But because I have people that can fry, fry. I personally, I'm not a frying person. I said my stew. But yeah, there's no guarantee. But I hope I'll try as much as possible to make it happen, guys. So that's it for this um groceries that i've gotten for the month of march remember these are items that i've gotten for the month of march most of the time um sometimes we may have leftovers sometimes some of things may run out which i hope not um the idea of this spaghetti why i buy four four is because we have one pack and one macaroni per month per week for four weeks some weeks are five weeks so but it all depends and we're going to find a way to supplement and cover for the difference yeah so that's it for this segment of uh, this March video, our March groceries, for March groceries, and then we have these ones for um, our other stuff, foodstuffs for the month. Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, I have watermelon um, that I got for 500 naira each, guys, um, and my yam, and then all of this. So we're going to be washing all of this and then packing them, preserving as good as as it's as the case may be so let me know if you have any questions or if you have any comments or if you have any suggestions for me on this channel i'll be glad to read from you guys and i appreciate it amanda be forget don't forget that the watch word here is savings and living healthy you don't need to um cut um tear your pocket to save money or live healthy
um you can do that on a budget too that's why i'm here for you guys so until i see you guys in another video i love you bye bye